Did you know farmers have used crop rotation for thousands of years? This practice dates back to ancient civilizations, where it was a crucial part of their agricultural systems. Ancient civilizations in Rome, Greece and China knew its value. They understood that rotating crops could prevent soil depletion and improve yields. They saw how it made their crops healthier and more plentiful. By alternating the types of crops grown, they could maintain soil fertility and reduce the risk of crop failure. This ancient practice is still relevant today. Modern farmers and gardeners continue to use crop rotation to enhance soil health and productivity. It is a cornerstone of sustainable and productive gardening. Crop rotation helps to balance the nutrients in the soil, making it a vital technique for long-term agricultural success. Crop rotation is a simple but powerful technique. It involves planning and knowledge, but the benefits far outweigh the effort. It involves growing different crops in a planned sequence on the same piece of land. This sequence can vary depending on the crops and the specific needs of the soil. Imagine a cycle where each crop benefits the next, like a well-choreographed dance. For example, legumes can fix nitrogen in the soil, benefiting the crops that follow. This dance of crops helps keep the soil healthy. By rotating crops, farmers can prevent the buildup of pathogens and pests that often occur when one species is continuously cropped. It also helps to manage pests and diseases. Different crops attract different pests, so rotating them can break the pest's life cycle. The beauty of crop rotation lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. It doesn't require expensive equipment or technology, just a good understanding of plant needs and soil health. By understanding the basic principles, even novice gardeners can reap its rewards. It's a technique that can be scaled to any size, from small home gardens to large agricultural fields. Let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of crop rotation and discover how you can implement it in your garden. With a little planning and knowledge, you can create a thriving, sustainable garden that benefits both you and the environment. Crop rotation is like a dance for your plants. Instead of planting the same thing in the same place each year, you switch it up. This simple act of changing the crops in a particular area brings life back into the soil. Imagine planting corn one year, then beans the next, followed by squash. This is a basic example of crop rotation. Each crop has different needs and uses different nutrients from the soil. By rotating crops, you prevent the depletion of essential nutrients. Different crops also have different root systems, which grow to different depths. This variation in root depth improves soil structure. Overall, crop rotation is a win-win for your garden. Rotating your crops is like giving your garden a vitamin boost. It comes with a variety of benefits. One of the biggest is healthier soil. Different crops use and replenish nutrients in different ways. This prevents nutrient depletion and keeps the soil fertile. Crop rotation also helps control pests and diseases. When you plant the same crop in the same spot, pests specific to that crop can build up in the soil. Rotating crops disrupts their life cycle, reducing pest pressure. And the best part, healthier soil and fewer pests lead to better harvests. Crop rotation can improve your yield significantly. You'll be amazed at the difference it makes in your garden. Don't worry, you don't need to be an expert to start rotating your crops. It's easier than you think. A simple three-year rotation plan is perfect for beginners. Begin by dividing your garden into three sections. Year one, plant heavy feeders like tomatoes, corn, or cabbage in section one. These crops need lots of nutrients. Year two, plant legumes like beans or peas in section one. Legumes are nitrogen fixers, meaning they add nitrogen back into the soil. Year three, plant root crops like carrots, potatoes, or beets in section one. These crops help break up the soil. Repeat this cycle for the other two sections and you're all set. Section five, planning your crop rotation, a step-by-step -step guide. Planning your crop rotation is like putting together a puzzle. Each piece has its place, and when they all fit together, the picture becomes clear. Start by listing the crops you want to grow. Think about your favorite vegetables, herbs, and even flowers that can benefit your garden ecosystem. Then group them into four basic categories, heavy feeders, legumes, root crops, and leafy greens. This helps in understanding their nutrient needs and how they can complement each other. Next, draw a simple diagram of your garden beds. This visual aid will help you plan more effectively and make adjustments as needed. 
Divide the beds into sections based on your rotation plan, for example. Three sections for a three-year rotation. This ensures that no single type of crop depletes the soil nutrients. Now assign each crop category to a section on your diagram, following the rotation principles. This step is crucial for maintaining soil health and reducing pest issues. Don't forget to consider the sunlight requirements of each crop when placing them in your garden. Some plants thrive in full sun, while others prefer partial shade. With a little planning and attention to detail, you'll have a well-structured crop rotation plan ready to go. This thoughtful approach will lead to a more productive and sustainable garden. Section 6. Advanced Crop Rotation – Tips for Seasoned Gardeners Once you've mastered the basics, you can take your crop rotation to the next level. Consider incorporating cover crops into your rotation. Cover crops like clover or ryegrass are planted in the off-season. They protect and nourish the soil. Another advanced technique is to rotate plant families, not just individual crops. This helps to further disrupt pest and disease cycles that may be specific to certain plant families. For instance, instead of just rotating tomatoes, rotate all members of the nightshade family, such as peppers, eggplants and potatoes. This adds an extra layer of protection for your garden. Section 7. The Power of Crop Families in Rotation Planning Think of plant families like extended families in the plant world. They share similar characteristics and, unfortunately, vulnerabilities to pests and diseases. That's why rotating entire plant families is key to long-term garden health. For example, the Brassicaceae family, which includes broccoli, cauliflower and kale, are all susceptible to clubroot disease. Planting them in the same spot year after year increases the risk of this disease taking hold. By rotating with families like legumes such as beans and peas or cucurbits like cucumbers and squash, you disrupt the disease cycle and protect your future crops. Remember, diversity is key in crop rotation. Section 8. Companion planting. Maximizing benefits within a rotation. Companion planting is like playing matchmaker for your plants. It involves planting different crops together that benefit each other. For example, planting basil alongside tomatoes can enhance tomato flavor and deter pests. You can integrate companion planting within your crop rotation plan. For instance, when it's time to plant your legumes, consider companion planting them with carrots. The legumes will fix nitrogen, benefiting the carrots, while the carrots will help loosen the soil for better legume growth. This synergistic approach maximizes the benefits of crop rotation and companion planting, creating a thriving and productive garden ecosystem. Section 9. Troubleshooting and adapting your crop rotation plan. Even with the best laid plans, things don't always go smoothly in the garden. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, unexpected challenges arise. You might encounter unexpected pest outbreaks, diseases, or changes in soil conditions that can affect your crop's health and yield. Don't worry, crop rotation allows for flexibility. This means you can adjust your planting strategy to better suit the current conditions. Keep a close eye on your garden and be prepared to adapt your plan if needed. Regular monitoring helps you catch issues early and make necessary changes. If you notice a particular pest or disease becoming a problem, you may need to adjust your rotation to include crops that are resistant to that specific issue. This proactive approach can save your garden from significant damage. Remember, gardening is a continuous learning experience. There is always something new to learn, whether it's from books, other gardeners, or your own observations. Don't be afraid to experiment, observe, and make adjustments to your crop rotation plan as you gain more experience and knowledge about your garden. Each season brings new insights, and being flexible will help you become a more successful gardener. Section 10. The future of food crop rotation for sustainable agriculture. Crop rotation isn't just an old-fashioned gardening technique. It's a crucial element of sustainable agriculture. As we face the challenges of climate change and resource depletion, it's more important than ever to adopt practices that protect our environment. By improving soil health, reducing reliance on synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, and increasing biodiversity, crop rotation contributes to a more resilient and sustainable food system. It's a simple yet powerful tool that can help us grow healthier food for generations to come. By embracing crop rotation, we're not just tending to our gardens, we're investing in the future of food and the health of our planet. 
Section 11. Unearth the magic of crop rotation, a call to action. Crop rotation is a gift from the past and a solution for the future. It's a simple yet powerful technique that can transform your garden and contribute to a more sustainable world. So why not give it a try? Start by implementing a basic rotation plan in your garden. Observe the benefits firsthand. As you gain confidence, experiment with advanced techniques like cover cropping and companion planting. Share your knowledge with fellow gardeners and spread the word about the magic of crop rotation. Together, let's unearth the full potential of crop rotation and create a healthier and more abundant future for all.